Let's watch the demo first. Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, I'm going to create this wonderful website using HTML and CSS only. And I will make it responsive without using any media query. Okay. So be with this video and I will explain everything. Okay. So how to use it and how to implement it. Okay. So just uh, keep it uh, keep with our video and please watch it till the end. Okay. So let's start our video. First, I'm going to create a new file name index.html and inside this let's write the format and as a title I'm going to give on the website. Okay. Now I have to create a navbound. Okay. But before that let's live our website so you can see the what is uh, in, uh, different what is happening when I just uh, save it okay so you can see the difference clearly okay that will just yeah okay now uh, in number you know that there is two most important thing that logo so I will just name logo okay and second one is links okay so just uh, make a div of link and inside the link I'm going to use um, a tag for adding link so first one is home and then other is about section and then another is services okay and the last one is contact us okay that's enough so you can see here logo and contact us we will we will style it later so now after nabba i'm going to add one more thing that is section inside this section i'm going to uh, uh, make uh, another div content and inside that content i'm going to give a uh, heading tag name welcome to our channel okay now i'm going to add a paragraph and uh, that already inbuilt okay so i just uh, copy and delete some someone like about this much mm, because we don't need any too much okay so this this in this is enough okay now uh, one more thing at last i'm going to use a button so button tag and inside that button i'm going to give subscribe okay so you can see here uh, a logo with um, some links and after that a uh, heading with a paragraph and a button okay so now let's style it for styling this i'm going to create another um, file name is style.css okay style.css and for external css you know that um, we have to use uh, we have to link the style.css in our uh, html file so link it style.css okay and now let me check uh, is this really link or not so first we just use a universal uh, parent a universal tag and uh, here we just use it um, padding as a zero the margin as a zero so when we just uh, style our um, base nothing will happen we just put all thing as a zero sans serif and box sizing will be border box of it so you can see here no spaces uh, here nothing left now to that um let's add our body type okay so inside this body tag width will be 100 percent and height will be 100 vh 100 vh is the screen size and uh, overflow i want to give an overflow as a hidden then okay, so after that after this width height then nothing will be seen okay now i'm going to add a uh, ms so background image url um background jpg okay so this is the image let's set this image to the center okay so for that i'm going to use background position is center and then background uh, repeat no repeat and then one more thing background size will be cover okay so you can see our image is clearly uh, fixed at a center point and images view is accurate and that will be what okay now let's style our main folder okay 
so for that uh, first we will style our navbar um width will be 100% and uh, height will be 10 bits um display is flex that means it displays flex and justify content is space around so you can see here um let me just use color so you can see it clearly color is white yeah you can see here our logo is here and our links is here so you uh, there is a sp uh, much space that we can uh, save it now let's style our logo so i'm going to use font sizes 2 rm and font weight will be 700 okay yeah it's good enough now let's style our link so color will be white and text decoration is none margin will be 0 from top bottom and 15 from left right and font size is 1.1 rm okay so it's good enough let me show you wait a second i think yeah clear white color okay so you can see it's good enough and one more thing um here i'm going to add one more thing that is line item center yeah now it's good uh as you can see our nav bar done now it's time to add section style the section type so this section let's style our section tag over so in section tag um, first is width about width okay so width will be 100% and height is 90 vh okay and then display is flex where is that not in line it's flex justify content is center and line item is center okay and after that uh, section i'm going to just um, in content i'm going to add text line is center color is white so you can see it clearly right and here i'm going to add um that display flex so for let me tell you why i am using display flex and justify content center center because this these if you use these three you can center any div okay so this is a method of uh, uh, center div okay so you can use it anytime you want okay and is it uh, it is good now uh, if you use absolute then don't use it use the display flex okay now let's style our h1 tag okay so you can see a display um, i have to just uh, use text tag and column so yeah now it's good let me style our cont uh, heading tag so i am going to use font size and one more thing i am here in font size i am going to use clamp okay so let me tell you what is clamp clamp is used to just um, make the um, text responsive let me show you i am going to give the minimum uh, minimum font size 1 rm and then increase in order of 5 view width and uh, maximum will be i am going to give 4 rm okay so you can see here uh, our text is according to the width of the size okay let me show you uh, here when i just uh, minimize the uh, sorry when when i just uh, uh, lower the window the size is uh, smaller and when i just increase the width the size is greater so this is the uh, use of clamp okay let me just fix the yeah now um one more thing um i am going to give text shadow okay text shadow is 00 10 pixel white okay yeah now it's brighter and now as a, con a content p i'm as a paragraph um, i will use the font size as a clamp same but here i'm just uh reduce the size okay as a 1 rm yeah and one more thing uh width will be 76 is enough for this yeah it's good now um ma i'm going to give margin top bottom 10 pixel and left right zero now we have to style our button so let's style our button okay so for button uh, let me just type content button okay 
um, I'm going to give padding of 10 pixel and from top bottom and 15 pixel from left right okay and uh, background color will be uh, that's a uh, hex code that is 5 ff 5203 okay and uh, inside that color I'm going to give color will be white font uh, weight will be 600 that is quite good and font size I'm going to give as a plan because when I increase the uh, width it uh, the I want to increase the uh, increase the size of the button also so I'm going to give the size of uh, size of this button is minimum 1 rem and the gap is same as 1 rem uh, 5 view width and uh, the maximum will be 1.2 rem okay so when I just um, let me show you when I just lower the width it, the size also decrease okay let me just lower this one more uh, 0 0.6 is enough okay that's good let's yeah now um one more thing the border radius i'm going to give the border radius about five pixels that's enough and i don't like the border okay so i just do it none and one more thing outline is none okay that's looking good and uh, let's uh, just margin top uh, yeah margin top is 20 pixel is enough yeah now looking good and uh, at the end I'm going to add the transition because I'm going to add hover effect okay but before that let add hover effect so you can see it clearly okay so I'm um, dot content button and here i'm going oh sorry uh let add here hover effect okay yeah and here i'm going to hover effect as a box shadow box shadow is zero zero pixel left uh, top bottom left right and 10 pixel is blurness uh, how much you want okay and i will give the same color okay. so let me see when i just hover uh color is dispersing you know here and I'm going to add transition to make it smooth. So transition will be 0 0.2 second linear. Let me check. Yeah, it's good now. As you can see here, it's looking good. And here, uh, I just created the logo. And you can see this website is responsive. Let me show you. Okay, uh, error page. Okay, now let me show you. Yeah, you can see here the text size increasing as the width of the desktop is increasing let me show when i just lower the you can see the text size also de in decreasing let me just confirm you with some yeah let me, here when i just lower the size the text size of this uh, text is decreasing but when i just increase you can see here the text is also increasing its width okay as i just increase and then uh, distance between the links and logo is also increasing as the size increases so this is a responsive design uh, without any uh, media query and you can see uh, we just created this website in 10 under 10 minutes okay um, it take around uh, one minute extra because i just uh, explain you everything so no need to worry if you explain, uh, just understand everything that's fine okay so how's you like this video if you like this video please like it share and subscribe our channel and for this content uh, i will always try to explain everything and if you like this video then it's give me motivation so i just prepare another video for like that uh, in the future okay so have a good day and thank you and that's all and if you one more thing uh, if you want to contact with me you can contact on telegram that's link in description and you can follow me on my github account also uh, that's also link in description okay so see you then and please like share and subscribe our channel okay